Hi folks, I just thought I'd make a very quick video showing you what the most commonly used apps I use are. These are ones that I use day to day and I think are worth recommending. Now at the minute as you can see you've just seen the usual array of Apple apps but don't worry there are more on the next page. They're the ones that I downloaded and I think are worth recommending. So first of all I just want to point out that my top maps are Google Maps. I changed to Google Maps because to be honest I think that, well I think that Apple's maps are terrible to be honest with you um, well I'm just going to quickly show you I mean the good thing about Google Maps is that of course you do actually get street view on it and I just personally think that that is a great feature something that you don't get on Google Maps also you have live traffic etc I just personally think that Google Maps is much better than Apple's version and is worth replacing it so if you go on to the next place, this is where things start to hot up a bit. I mean, you know, I'm going to have YouTube, of course, because I do a lot of these videos. Uh, but next up, Opera Mini. Opera Mini is just my ultimate browser. I mean, most of the time I do actually use Safari as my main one. But Opera sometimes comes in use if web pages aren't rendering that great, and I just tend to go onto that one. Now, eBay, of course, we all know what that is, and no need to explain what that is. Uh, but a great app to just sell things actually on is great for selling because you can list things really really quick okay so next let's go on to weather 2x I made a main video about that so just I can skip over that one now games is again something that I did a lot of last time but I did want to point out a few new ones that I got and that I would really recommend to be honest real racing 3 is by far just such an amazing such an amazing game I mean it is so realistic and I would definitely worth definitely definitely say that you should go and get that one it is completely free of charge so you know you're not gonna have to pay a penny and you get you, you really get so much content on it so realistic too definitely would recommend it I'm just seeing in the video now how veiny my hand is but um, yeah never mind about that um, okay so the next one is doodle jump <laughs> you can't beat doodle jump um, my top score I have to say I'm rather proud of is 500,000 um, let's just show you that so you know I'm not lying there you go 513,000 so I'm pretty proud of my top score on that one um, so yeah next of all and then we just quickly go on to social so social as you can see let's go on to that uh, just a few ones that I use. The one I use most common is Kick and Skype. I mean, Kick is a little messenger app where you can, you, again, it's free of charge, and you just download it and you can message anyone you want to use using Kick. Really simple to use. Um, I'm not going to open it because you'll see all my messages, but you know, really simple, and I would recommend it. It's free, like I said, so why not give it a shot? It's an alternate to say. Hmm, what is it an alternate to? It's like iMessage, but it doesn't cost anything because it's all over the internet. Um, whereas iMessage is a split between internet and SMS, as most of you know who has iOS. Uh, Skype, most people know what Skype is, you know. Uh, Tweetbot. Tweetbot is my preferred Twitter client on iPad. I use it the most. I mean, on iMac I use TweetDeck, but Tweetbot is my preferred Twitter client. I don't use Twitter anymore, so that's why I don't use it that much. And Tumblr. I sometimes use Tumblr because I do love photography, and that's what I use that for. So they are my most commonly used apps, and to be honest with you guys, I know it's, there's not a lot there, but I just thought I'd show you the ones that I use the most. Um, that's it. That is it. And again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later, or perhaps later later on. But anyway, uh, guys and girls, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.